Hey guys, welcome back to part 7 of our movie ticket booking system in Java. Uh, today, in part 6, we completed the book ticket logic, that is this method. Today, we'll be completing, we'll, tar we'll be targeting the C ticket and cancel ticket. And if time permits, we'll start with our user class as well. So let's dive right into it. I'll code first as usual and then I'll explain what's the logic behind what I did. Alright, fast forward Gaurav now. Alright guys, so in C details, what we did uh, is we uh, showed the user different tickets booked under the user ID. For this, we use this method get all bookings for user. This is the method. So over here, we simply ran a select statement with where clause that is user ID equals to user ID supplied user id to this method and we simply printed out the showtime id and seat number from it and next up uh, in the same thing we asked user which showtime id he wants to know information about and uh, they enters the showtime id and we run this method show showtime details from showtime class over here we performed a join between showtime and movies so displaying the movies i movie id simply to the user is not useful so what we did was we took movie title duration and displayed it with showtime id and showtime timing of that show uh, from showtime s movies m where we this is the join part where we join the two tables s dot movie id equals to m dot movie id and s dot showtime id equals to question mark this question mark parameter is supplied over here to the method and we pass this method on to get showtime details db operation over here we take all those details and print out to the user and the final result is this booking details this part enter show time to know information and then this part all right guys so what you can go ahead and do is make this a bit more visually appealing right mm. for now let's just move on right let's move on to cancel ticket so again over here now we just need to pick this up and show user what are the different tickets they have booked. <laughs> Alright, so in cancel ticket, we display the details that is booking ID, showtime ID, these things. So showtime ID and seat number. Then user will go ahead and enter the booking of their choice we pick this up print enter booking id to cancel booking Now a future scope possible over here is 
saving the booking details. What I'll be doing here is simply just popping out the booking record. That is delete from, perform the delete from. All right, guys. So we have completed the booking class. Over here in booking class, we added C book C ticket method before. Now let me explain the cancel ticket. We ran the same method to show all the de booking details to the user. Next up, we asked their choice and pass this choice to a remove booking method. In remove booking method, we simply did delete from bookings where booking ID equals to question mark. This is a bit buggy. What anyone can do is enter any booking ID. And it won't give them any error. So what we can add a future scope over here is to verify if the booking is users or not. All right. And yeah, we are all set. We return the rows affected from here to our booking class. In booking class, if rows affected is greater than zero, then booking cancels successfully. Else something went wrong, booking not cancelled. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in part 8 where we'll be preparing the user method. And hopefully by part 9, we'll be preparing the main login class. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.